Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. So more information about Lemuria and Atlantis is starting to form within me as I begin to dive deeper and deeper into this journey and opening up my inner lost knowledge bit by bit. So I really wanted to bring forward some things that have been coming to me over the past few weeks. So what's been coming through since the beginning of this year is the idea of free energy. And as we move further and further into 5D New Earth, into these higher vibrations, there are going to be a lot of changes. We've discussed this in past videos. Basically, everything anchored in 3D, meaning the lower vibrations, especially things surrounding like corruption, poverty, suffering, as well as all of the industries that revolve around those types of lower vibrations, meaning the government, healthcare, some big businesses, Wall Street, money, that type of thing. All of these industries, all of these connections will have to go through some shift in order to make the move or the jump from the lower vibration of 3D into a higher vibration of 5D. This is the process that we're going through. This is the process that we're going through on a physical level with our own bodies shifting from 3D, the lower vibrations, into holding a higher vibration of 5D. And the same thing has to happen with everything in our entire reality, our entire world. So in this video, we're going to be talking about energy and the way that energy is sourced and powered on the planet falls into the same category as these lower vibrational industries and energies that are anchored in 3D. And one of the biggest shifts from 3D into 5D is going to be the shifting of our power source. In all aspects, if you think of power or the term power and how it's utilized on the planet, but especially in the area of the generation of free energy throughout the entire planet. Currently, energy is provided and sourced for the more developed countries on the planet, and it involves lots and lots of money. In this video, we're going to be talking about free energy, and we're going to break down the idea of free energy in our shifting world by connecting it back to the energy used in Atlantis and Lemuria. At this point, there are two parts to this video, but there might be more added as we begin to grasp the concept a bit more. And as I begin to bring forward a little bit more in my understanding, um, this video is part one and we're going to be presenting a sort of background to setting up the idea of free energy on the planet by connecting it to the pole shift as well as to Lemuria and Atlantis. And keep in mind that information in this video is based strictly on my own theory and interpretation from my spirit guidance team, Abe, and my own inner lost knowledge. I'm also going to provide the transmission that came through in writing over on the website. I'll put a link to the blog below so that you can read what came through in the written transmission. So to bring forward this information, um, I sort of received these chunks of information and I sort of needed to decipher it and connect it, put it together, understand it a little bit better. So the things that strongly came forward was the pole shift, the connection between the pole shift, Atlantis and Lemuria, um, the inner energy of Earth, the equator, as well as South America. So let's break everything down, um, starting with the equator. Um, so I asked, does the equator line move with the pole shifts? I wanted to know maybe if instead of it staying in the middle, like does it, does the equator rotate or do something funky? And what came through was no, the axis of the earth stays the same throughout the pole shifts. Instead of the axis line or the equator shifting during the pole shifts, the inner energy shifts. The balance of the planet shifts along the axes, like the internal balance, the internal energetic balance shifts, but remains balanced 
nonetheless. The inner energy shifts, the inner energy flips or um, does that major shift, um, as well as uh, think of the outer layer of the earth, the, the surface of the earth, that does not physically shift. The North Pole does not become the South Pole, and the South Pole does not become the North Pole, um, which is what I originally thought many, many months and years ago when hearing about the pole shift. But um, what's coming through more strongly now is that it is the inner energy of the Earth that shifts. So the inner North becomes the inner South. The inner South becomes the inner North, if that makes sense. Not necessarily in that way, but in that sort of perspective of energy shifting. And then it connected into Central America. And what came through was that in the equator line of the Earth, the energy of inner Earth seeps through the equator line. Central America resides strongly on the equator line is what came through. And I sort of wanted to grasp a little bit more about Atlantis and Lemuria and how they were connected. And I asked, was Atlantis once located north of the equator? Because in my sort of awareness, um, we think of the Atlantic Ocean, and I sort of place Atlantis in the Atlantic Ocean in that region, and that is located above the equator line. So I'm kind of just like grasping things and putting them um, in order, connecting them for myself at this point. And so I asked, was Atlantis once located north of the equator in this um, area of the Atlantic? And what came through was no. At the time of Atlantis and Lemuria, both of these island masses or both of these land masses included a strong volume of the equator, meaning that both of them ran through the equator. It was integrated within the, the region of the equator. And then to clarify even more, because I have other awareness of maybe Atlantis being in the Antarctic region, and so I asked, um, I thought that maybe Antarctica held parts of Atlantis, and what came through was that parts of Antarctica is not Atlantis, but an open, strong portal to Atlantis. And this portal to Atlantis found in Antarctica is what came through. Um, I'm not going to be diving too deep into that just yet because I don't think that information is meant to come forward at this time, through me at least, Um so I'm going to hold off on that information. Maybe it will be revealed in the future. But right now we're going to continue with this uh, topic of, of energy. Um, so basically, this is me and my thought process ruling out, okay, it's not Antarctica. The location of Atlantis is not really in the Atlantic Ocean. We're going to dive deeper into all of this. But um, I'm just walking you through my thought process. Um, so I asked them, can you tell me exactly where Lemuria and Atlantis were located on the planet? And what came through was, yes, the planet's surface may have shifted, but the axis and the equator line, like we spoke about, has remained the same. Think of flowers on the surface of water. They move around. They are not anchored. The surface of your planet is similar. The ocean on your planet is much deeper than you may imagine. In the time of Lemuria, for reference for your minds, the island of which you now know as Hawaii was located just below the equator. This is during the time of Lemuria. The larger landmass of Lemuria spanned an area that reached above and below the equator, but mostly above the equator. The equator ran through the southern part of the larger landmass of Lemuria. I asked, so during the time of Lemuria, was the weather always warm because their landmass ran through the equator? And what came through was not so much in the farthest north reaching parts of Lemuria's larger landmass. Keep in mind that parts of the Earth were not the same as they are on your current Earth. Gaia is a living, breathing being, and temperatures shift in her body over the years. However, Gaia has always been warm at her equator. 
I have a map coming up. I'm going to show you more about the locations. Um, but for now, I want to read to you what came through um, when I brought forward this information. And then we'll make it more tangible when I show you the maps. What came through is that in terms of the pole shift, know that the physical planet does not turn upside down. The physical North Pole will not become the South Pole and vice versa. If this happens, the Earth surface dwellers, meaning the people of Earth, would not survive. What is happening instead is an energetic shift. Like I said, the inner energy of the Earth is shifting, so inner North becomes inner South per se. It's just a shift of energy, a rearranging of energy. Then they bring my attention to the physical body. The ascension symptoms many of us have been going through, yes, we are going through physical, mental, emotional, energetic, spiritual shifts in our bodies and our energy that can be quite painful and disruptive and uncomfortable. It has been very, very intense for many of us. And what they've told me many times is that we are going through our own inner pole shift in the body. And this is what is happening with inner earth or with earth, basically. Our physical body does not turn upside down, meaning we won't begin walking on our hands and our feet won't be up in the air. But there are other physical changes, such as changes to the skin and the organs and structure and blood and DNA and cells and stuff. But for the most part, we still have the same human body with arms and legs and a head and feet and hands all in the same places. But all of these other shifts are taking place to make us stronger, lighter, higher vibrational. And they're just kind of um, making this connection between what we're going through in our physical bodies with what Earth is going through in her pole shift um, to give you a better understanding. The pole shift rearranges the energy of the planet again to the same energy as was found during the time of Atlantis and Lemuria. As the pole energy shifts, Central America will begin walking the equator energy portal, meaning that Central America will open into a portal of great energy that comes from inner Earth. We're going to expand more upon this. So I asked why Central America? And what came through was because when the poles shift, Central America will be located where Atlantis was once located. The open energy of the planet will return to the same open energy that existed during the time of Lemuria and Atlantis. So it's like, like I said, the equator, the axes, the balance of Earth stays the same while the energy shifts, right? And the same thing goes for energy portals that are found on the earth is what came through, is what I was sort of seeing. So the energy portals on the planet do not move. What moves is the inner energy that's going to be seeping through these portals, as well as the surface land masses on the planet moves, but the energy portals on the planet stay in the same places. And just to confirm this, I asked, so does this mean that Central America was Atlantis? And what came through was no, Atlantis is long gone. When we say the rise of Atlantis and Lemuria, we mean the rise of energy that emerges in the place of where these land masses existed or used to exist on the energetic surface of the planet. I want to make a note here that as I was bringing forward this information, I was physically feeling the strong energy that was coming through, which made me realize just how powerful this energy is. My entire body started feeling this fiery energy that was pouring onto my skin, and I had this itching spell that I had, I had to take a break. I had to not bring in any more information because it was kind of overwhelming my body, um, and I had to go outside and ground. So... Because of the strong reaction that I had to the information, I'm not going to be bringing forward too much information in this first video. I'm going to allow you to integrate the energy and the information coming through 
this video and this message um, in your own way and give you some time to really um, in integrate it and incorporate it into your energetic body. But one thing I do want to go over is I want to show you this map um, that will better explain um, what I was just talking about in terms of the placement of Lemuria and Atlantis. Okay, I'm going to be showing you maps of where um, in my head, in my own inner vision, what's been forming for me within me in terms of where Atlantis and Lemuria used to exist versus where they are existing at present day due to the shifting masses. So for Atlantis, um, here I have in the pink, uh, the approximate placement of where Atlantis used to exist in the rise of the civilization of Atlantis when they were on, or when they were existing on our planet. I have here that this is the placement of an open energy portal between Gaia and Atlantis. Um, these open energy portals, again, they stay in the same place throughout um, the Earth around the globe. They do not change along with the equator. The equator does not change. What changes is the inner energy. Um, the land masses change. So they're clarifying right now with me regarding these portals. Um, again, the, the placement of these portals along the Earth do not change. What changes, like I said, is the energy, but not, not necessarily the type of energy. What changes is the strength of the energy is what's coming through. So, for example, the portals that are found in the placement of where Atlantis and Lemuria used to exist, um, they weren't as strong throughout our 3D existence. But while we are moving into 5D, raising in our vibration and frequency, these portals, you know, the whole inner earth shift, the pole shift going on um, within the earth and around the earth are creating or are opening these portals more and more and making these portals stronger. So the energy coming through these portals is strengthening. Um, and that's, that's the difference. Um, I think that's another reason why they are bringing our attention to these hot spots of where Atlantis used to exist, the placement of where Atlantis used to exist and the placement of where Lemuria used to exist because the energy in these places will become a lot more stronger and more powerful, bringing forward more of that Atlantis energy and bringing forward more of that stronger Lemurian energy. Um, and I think that's the, the main reason for this video and for presenting this information at this time. So I also have here that it is also the placement of where current day inner earth heart energy portal is rising again. The rise of Atlantis is in this region, this region of Central America um, and South America, as well as the equator. Um, it came to me this morning actually i woke up with a little bit more clarity regarding the regions of atlantis and lemuria i made some updates to this map because what came to me strongly regarding atlantis was the bermuda triangle and i don't know exactly how it integrates into this information about atlantis but i feel like the bermuda triangle may be one of these energy portals that existed or is connected to the original placement of where Atlantis used to exist and this sort of hot spot of where on our current earth um, this Atlantean energy comes through um, because in this ascension process in the rising of energy this energy hot spot of where Atlantis used to exist is going to become stronger um, as we as time unfolds I guess we'll see how um, and then in terms of where Atlantis could exist at present day um, I was shown the shift of the landmass because think of the flowers on top of the water the pool of water the flowers move so the landmass of Atlantis shifted up here to 
the North Atlantic Ocean area, mostly in the water. Um, what came through, sort of, was Ireland. I don't know if it maybe spans up into the country of Ireland, but none of these other countries came through in terms of incorporation of Atlantic landmass. Um, so I'm not too sure about that. But this is just a general idea and placement of where the Atlantis actual landmass could be located at present day um, in our current Earth um, reality. Okay, so same thing goes with Lemuria. So here in pink, what came to me was that Lemuria existed here by the equator. The southern part of the larger landmass of Lemuria ran through the equator. This is, I have here, the placement of where this energy portal is located at present day because it was also located in the same placement that Lemuria was when the landmass existed at this time. Again, the portals stay in the same places. So um, the Lemuria, the energy of Lemuria is rising again in this sort of area um, through these portals found here. But again, this is where the original landmass of Lemuria used to exist approximately based solely on my own interpretation and my own intuition and information coming through um, coming through my guidance. And in terms of where they're located at current day due to the shifting landmasses, we have kind of the same shift that Atlantis uh, saw here, but with Lemuria, it shifted up here to the North Pacific Ocean, mostly in the water. Um, I'm still a little unsure about the coast of the United States, but it keeps coming through, so there has to be something in regards to the coast of, or the west coast of the United States being connected to the larger landmass of actual Lemuria. And what's been coming through for a few months now, whenever Lemuria comes through, is Colorado. So I'm not sure if maybe the Lemurian landmass, the original landmass, um, can also be found up until maybe Colorado. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a possibility because it keeps coming through, or maybe it has Lemurian energy, I'm not too sure, um, along with Arizona um, and then the West Coast. But um, Again, this is just general approximate placement of the larger landmass of Lemuria. And also, if you watched my video, um, I have Inner Lost Knowledge series, part one, part two, and part three. In part one, I talk about how in my own personal past life, lost knowledge, um, the island of what we now know as Hawaii existed during the time of the civilization of Lemuria, but it was it wasn't part of the larger landmass. From my own personal recollection and knowledge, it was an island mass or a smaller island mass off the south coast of the larger Lemurian uh, landmass. So if we travel back in time and we go to the original placement of where Lemurians or where Lemuria's landmass existed, Hawaii Island or what we now know as Hawaii Island, possibly used to exist here, still south of the larger landmass, south of the equator, east of Papua New Guinea, um, but sort of in this general region. Um, but yeah, so this is what I've sort of collected in terms of placement of where Lemuria and Atlantis existed um, during the time of their civilizations, as well as where they now exist under the ocean mostly um, in our current day present reality or present world. And the important thing to note from these maps is during the time of Lemuria and Atlantis's um, civilizations, they existed on the equator. Their landmass, um, at least the southern parts of their landmasses, existed incorporating the equator energy. And this is what's going to be important as we bring forward more information about free energy, about energy from inner earth, 
seeping through the equator at these sort of energy points or energy portals that were found in Atlantis and Lemuria. Okay, so to explain further, possibly also um, repeating what I was just going over, but I'm going to read to you what came through in order to get me to this conclusion of drawing these maps. Um, and so what came through was that Atlantis existed in the placement of where Central America is today. Atlantis is not Central America. It was only in the same place on your globe. Today it is located where your Atlantic Ocean is located. When the energetic pole shift happened and the fall of Atlantis and Lemuria occurred, water filled Atlantis and Lemuria and over many, many years opened the land masses that you see today. Over the many great years, the land masses on your planet have shifted. Again, think of the flowers on top of the pool of water. I'm sorry if I keep repeating this, but um, that is what keeps coming to me. The landmass that you know of as Central America exists in the same place that the landmass of Atlantis existed in many, many, many years ago. The energy of Central America opens up to Atlantean energy, but in your current 3D planet way. It is much less powerful, but powerful in its own way. Central America holds fiery, strong Atlantean energy. Atlantean energy translated in your current 3D planet is energy of corruption, poverty, addiction, war, strong energy of struggle, power, and money. Yet it's balanced by this strong energy of family, culture, and desire. And they bring through the image of the Garden of Eden. So it has this strong energy of duality and polarity, um, which existed after Adam and Eve had the fruit from the Garden of Eden. The islands that you now know as Hawaii existed many, many years ago during the time of Lemuria. They were a smaller island chain off the south coast of the larger Lemurian landmass. Their location during the time of Lemuria was in a place south of the equator, closer to the region of what you would call now the Northeast Islands off the coast of Australia, or rather more north of New Zealand. Over the many, many, many years, this island chain moved and integrated more water to where they now exist today. And the larger landmass of Lemuria filled with mostly water and the coasts of what you would now call the west coast of the United States. Central America on your current map is only the placement of where Atlantis used to exist. Currently on your map, the placement of where Lemuria used to exist holds no major landmasses. The current placement of where Lemuria used to exist can be found east of Papua New Guinea. The area currently holds smaller islands, but for the most part, the placement of where Lemuria used to exist is fully covered in the Pacific Ocean water. Because of this, Lemurian energy on your planet is not as strong as the open Atlantean energy on your planet. The original landmasses of Lemuria and Atlantis will not rise again, not for a very, very, very long time. They are very long gone. They will rise again eventually in the infiniteness of their own cycle, which exists on a much larger, infinite scale of your planet's history. When the pole shift happens, new land masses in the Pacific will open up in the placement of where Lemuria used to exist. They will not be old Lemuria, but they will be brand new land masses to your awareness, hidden under the ocean floor for many, 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 many years. The last time this landmass was opened was millions of years ago. It is part of a larger cycle, the cycle of land masses on your planet, a very, very long cycle that lasts for billions of years. For millions of years, Lemuria existed in the placement of where Australia is now. They then moved up to the equator, where the rise of Lemuria was more well known. Um, this pink area that I have 
circled here, and now they are north of Hawaii, where their current placement is right now. Millions of years ago was Lemuria in the same place as Australia. They're just repeating themselves. Um, the rise of Lemuria and Atlantis were when their placement existed at the equator. The strong energy of the equator opened strong civilizations in Lemuria and Atlantis. Again, because the equator holds these portals, especially in the placement of where Lemuria used to be and where Atlantis used to be, there are, I guess, these energy portals that connect the inner earth heart energy to the surface. So that is what is the important key information to take from this topic because this inner earth heart energy coming to the surface through these portals is what is going to be important in energy sources, I guess, on the surface of our planet because it's that strong. Um, I'm going to stop here. We're going to continue this conversation about this energy source, um, these energy portals to that bring up inner earth heart energy. Um, but for this video, I'm going to stop here because of the strong energy of this transmission. Um, I'm going to let you integrate what you need to integrate. Keep in mind that inner loss knowledge that I hold at this moment is about Lemuria and Atlantis. I get a feeling that there were other land masses on the planet during the time of Lemuria and Atlantis, since it feels like if we look at this map, Atlantis and Lemuria existed. This is the Pacific Ocean side. This is the Americas side. But then we have um, this whole other side of the globe of Africa, China, India, um, Europe. We have all this space. And I don't have any information about this at this time. Um, but I get a sense, I get this feeling that there were things happening on this side. Um, maybe other people have this inner lost knowledge. Maybe some of you listening have this knowledge, which is why it's also important to bring forward your inner lost knowledge and why we've been teaching and, and relaying this information of retrieving your inner lost knowledge. And... Again, this year is going to be strong in helping people, lightworkers, to open up their inner lost knowledge and bring forward what they need to know, even including information about Lemuria and Atlantis, because there are so many different puzzle pieces that need to be put together um, for the bigger picture to form. I'm only presenting what I have from my own past experiences, from my own inner lost knowledge, and everyone holds a different key to the puzzle. I hope that me sharing sparks something within you. If you hold information within you, I'd love for you to share. Um, you can join our free Facebook group and share there. Ask your questions there. Um, but for now, I'm going to conclude this video. In part two of this free energy series, we're going to be diving deeper into what came through regarding more about free energy, including what came through about the country of Ecuador, more about the energy of the equator, and even the Tesla machine, and how Lemuria and Atlantis generated their free energy that contributed to the rise of these civilizations. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Aben Oneness is complete. Oneness and love be with you.